How you doing? Does the rocking chair make me look old? It, it might be the other things making me look old. Anyways, I built this rocking chair, and you can too. There's plans available, but please stick around, and I'll show you how I went through it all. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Hi there. I started making some rocking chairs, and I did not start filming. So I'm going to gather some of that footage and combine it with fresh filming uh, to show you some of the processes I go through to make my rocking chairs. So stay tuned. Thanks for coming. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Some of that deleted footage, or never taken footage, was the, uh, the, the cutting of these components for the rocker assembly, which these are the last few that I glued up overnight. little wedge for clamping so here is the rocker assembly and it's perfect I started with making a fresh pattern out of half inch Baltic birch uh, I made it using I had a circle cutting jig for my router still have the router base attached to it it wasn't long enough for the the radius of this arch so i added on to it with uh, plenty of screws here and extended it and i have two points here i have an inside radius and an outside radius and i clamp everything to my table and i fixed this up and i did some of this with the router and what it gave me was perfect perfect lines um on the inside and outside radius and then and then i put this radius on which is the the thickness of this it's two and three quarters i that's a two and three quarter radius at each end and i sanded everything and i put a 16th inch uh, round over bit on everything and then i hit it with just an oil-based primer and sanded it so it's nice and smooth it's going to last for a long time so I took this, I, I brought some 2x12s in here that were cut down to about 4 feet. I placed this on top of the 2x12s and traced it out. And then I brought it over to my bandsaw, which is buried behind these boards. I cut just outside that line. Just The blade was just to the outside of that pencil line. And then, and I did that for several pieces. I'm making six rockers, so I have uh, 12 of these individual rocker components because each rocker requires two leg sets or rocker sets place this over with double-sided tape from fast cap which that stuff is amazing and you could see it's a perfect fit because it was i bring that over to this monster bit it's a two inch cutting surface on the router table with the pattern double-sided taped to the slightly oversized uh, cutout from the bandsaw and then i pass that through on the router table ever so quietly because uh that that's a monster bit I, and i'm glad there was only a small amount to remove it removed it flawlessly these are perfect they don't need to be sanded they don't need to be addressed or cleaned up at all they're perfect. Then I had a jig. After I made 12 of those, let me show you my next step. I made this contraption, and it's got a few phases in its life. I used it as something else, but uh, what I used it for in the past was maintaining this leg configuration. Both of these legs are at 15 degrees. And this is a 15 degree uh, miter at the top, 
when you look across here, it's perfectly flat. Eventually the armrest, this isn't the armrest, but eventually the armrest will go right on top with some pocket hole screws. I've already got this pocket hole screwed. You can see the, the holes here and here. The armrest will eventually go on something like that. Um, and the pocket hole screws with some glue and then there will also be a little uh, armrest support on, on the front because the front's a little wider than the rear is. After cutting the round rocker portion, I place the legs, which are cut a little bit long, I place them in this jig that I have. I put the individual legs in here and my jig locks them in place with these toggles. And then I made this contraption. This, when I cut the original pattern, this was left over on the inside. That is the inside. I, I cut a portion of this out. I, I rigged it up to where I slide this up to this board and slide it over to here. I can lock that down. And then I could take my router with the straight cutting bit and a bearing. This, this uh, rocker portion wouldn't be here at the time, but I could run this across and it would cut these legs at the at the exact length and at the exact radius because it's not a square cut it's got a little bit of a contour on it so then after i do that i can use my domino with the larger dominoes i could put a domino hole into here and here and then also into the legs and, and that's essentially what i did yesterday glued them up overnight and as i clamp them i, I remove all the excess glue uh, so it's nice and clean and there will be some sanding i still got some pencil marks and this is just it's like a 30 second off no one's ever going to see that or care but i'm still going to give this a sanding at least on the outside, the inside face, I may not worry too much about. And eventually I'm going to put a 3 16 round over on here. And anyway, that's the, the rocker component. I'm going to continue removing all my clamps. And then the next thing will be to make seat slats. I think I've got everything else done. That's pretty much it. I need to cut the seat slats. And there's 30 per chair times 6 chairs. That's 180 seat slats, 23 inches long with a round over on the edges. So then I've got my two-sided tape. I'm going to go through the whole process and I'm going to cut some strips. So then I'm going to peel that layer off. There we go. That goes well. I've got like a tacky side. There we go. Just like that. So I'm going to center this, get a good at the end, just gently let it sit down. It looks pretty good right where it's at. It looks very good right where it's at. So I'm going to press it into place. I know I've got pieces on the ends. 
two in the center there. Here's another thing I rigged up. A couple of things I did this morning. I, I don't use my router table often at all. And when I do, since I made this, I, I put an external switch on it instead of trying to get in here. Uh, I had the switch over here. I never liked that location. But then I quickly found out when you're working, you need to be standing over here. And I didn't like turning it on and then coming over here. So I repositioned it with the switch over here. And then another thing, I have a little, uh, my, my desk collection is on this block and it fits well in my sander and I just drop it in. So I've made a little contraption in the back here just to drop this in and it's not going anywhere. I could just fire it on right here. And works very well. This whole operation makes a mess, but I'm going to show you how I've been going about doing this. And hopefully we don't have any issues because it, it, it is a, it's an eye opening task. But the end result is amazing. So here we are, folks. I've got all the components built and the rocker assemblies are assembled with a 10 by 50, I think it is, domino at these locations glued. Uh, the the face side on, on everything, there's a good side and the bad side. There's a front side and the back side. These we're all put together this is the right rocker and this is the left rocker and and part of that is the uh, pocket hole screws that will be on the outside but i wanted to make sure the the cleanup on this was minimal so i i concentrated the domino uh, flush on the outside and you know this isn't uh this isn't, I, I haven't milled everything down. I just bought some two buys, which is what I usually do. So the inside is still a little imperfect. I'm not even going to worry about that. It's the inside. It, it will come into view, but the outside is most important. Um, but they're nice and smooth. And I put my uh, rounded edge, 3 16 inch routed round over. They're all very nice. One last step. Let me show this. Well, let me cause a scene. Also, hey, also over here, also over here are the uh, the completed uh, seat and back pieces. Uh, also, uh, they. 
I, I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on these just on the, this back edge just to clean that up a little bit before I get into assembly. I got all my seat slats here, enough for six uh, rocking chairs. Um, I've got them in stacks of 10. And so, you know, sick, and I have a few extras. And if I need more, I'll make more. It doesn't take much to make more. And one last thing is the stretchers. And this is a new component that I, I didn't use the first time around, but I think it's really going to firm everything up. This is going to go underneath the seat in between the rocker components uh, with, the, with the prettier face out. It, one in the front and one in the back, and it, it's going to add a lot of strength. I'm going to do that in lieu of adding a carriage bolt. Um, last time I had a carriage bolt. This time I'm going to have glue and pocket hole screws for the win is what that's going to be. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to fire up the sander and get some of these sanded and put away before assembly. Just a little bit of cleanup, not too much. Just cleaning up if there's any glue spilling out, if there's any uh, offset of these. Um, they look pretty good as they are. And one final thing. I, I will be putting a 3 16 inch round over on here, probably on both sides, uh, but, pr but for sure on the outside. And once all the seat slats are on here, then I'll sand with, with my big uh, Festool RO150 and probably some 80 grit paper uh, or even 40 grit paper, I'm gonna sand down the the edge of all that so it's a nice uh good to the touch comfortable to the touch finish on there so i'm going to do some of these and do some routing and then we'll get into the final assembly it's all coming together
All right, so here's the uh, the full rocking unit that the chair will sit within. I'm going to put a I'm going to take this clamp and just clamp it to the table, just to keep it from sliding off or. So when this armrest gets installed, it sits on top of these and goes against the, the back support. And you can see right there, you don't want to have a rounded edge in, in this channel. It looks, it's a nice fit right there. And this is the stopping point where this is in line with that. I marked this at three inches doesn't have to be exactly there. I usually just kind of eyeball it somewhere there. It's close enough. Uh, but when I put my round over, I come around here and stop. I go all the way around. And then when I come this way, I'll stop right there. The tops of those legs are perfectly in line with each other on the same plane as each other. And you see how that sits right on top. And when I roll it down, it's a perfect fit. because both of these are on a 15 degree bevel and my jig keeps them perfectly at the top and everything starts there and works off of that. If you look at it, this little space here is similar to this little space where are we here. So as it goes up against the armrest, it's centered between this area and this area, and it covers that pocket hole screw. Everything fits very nice and tight. So the only visible screws you see is this pocket hole and this one that's in the back. It's not the end of the world. And then that armrest there, I could have had a wet rag and got some more of that out a little bit better. 
but that's not going to be bad. It's full, completely glued. It's got a screw in the back side, a three inch screw going into here. This is a solid rocking chair. Okay, this thing is done, complete. It looks very good. It's still on the table. I haven't sat on it, but it's going to sit well. Some of the details I wanted to show you. As we take a look at everything, you see how the two arms plane with each other very well. The way the armrest is shaped out, the front leg is completely surrounded by the armrest, while the rear leg comes up flush. So I do put a routed edge on here. I figured that out a while back. Uh, I left that I left that unrouted. I used to even sand it some. Um, but the fact that this is routed and this is routed, it it's it's a comfortable finish there. I used to have on on the first variation of these, I had a carriage bolt going through, and I did not have the the two by four stretcher. And I don't know that it started to wobble, but I worried that it would start to wobble. I also had a carriage bolt going through here, and not the stretcher but i know that stretcher especially glued in gives it a lot of strength glued in as you can see it's got two uh, pocket hole screws going into the leg at each side that's a crucial connection it gives it so much strength everything glued and screwed there same with the rear this is glued and screwed into the leg just the same way the stringer sitting on top of that, and it has two screws in it right here. And if anyone ever wondered if that half lap joint is ever going to fail, it, it, it's it's been glued and sat overnight, but it's also got two screws in it going all the way through this into the leg. So it's not going to fail. It, it's a proven joint. That that arm is never going to roll or twist. It's glued and screwed. It's got so much support. It's strong as an ox. But this is a wonderful rocking chair. I call it my tropical rocker. And uh, it's 100% my design. And I, I love it. It's, it's a handsome piece of furniture. It's the most comfortable outdoor rocking chair you're ever going to find. It looks good. It's strong. It's going to withstand the elements. And definitely put a coat of something on it. I prefer Sherwin-Williams Super Deck. That's what I prefer absolutely every time. You ready? It's the final test. Once again. Get it to stop. The, the leg is near vertical. It's leaning forward just a little bit. The rear leg, that is. Um, I don't want to hit my head on the bandsaw. And it, does it look like it's leaning back too far? I wondered about that. But then when I go up and sit in it, look, it's perfect. It's exactly where it was. It's perf My feet are off the ground. I sit in it, and it holds that position. Such little effort. I hold myself still to stop moving again. It's back in that same position again where the leg is just leaning forward a little bit. My wife has shorter legs, and so she's looking for like an ottoman or something. And I get that. What are you going to do? Everybody's a little bit different. I wondered about making one that's a little bit shorter. What if my leg configuration was like two inches shorter? That, that's an idea. Uh, I wondered if, if this could be a little bit narrower in the seat. It, it easily could be. It, it simply could be. Uh, these, these seat slats are 23 inches. You could make them 21 inches and see how that goes. I think this is comfortable for me. Some people, it might be tight on them. Some people, it might be really large on them. 
uh, so it, it kind of depends on who your customer is. Do you need to make it wider? You certainly could. Do you need to make it narrower or even shorter? You certainly could. Um, but the, the arm, the, just the placement of the arms compared to the seat, it, it's comfortable. It, it, I don't have to put my elbows down to, to find that, and I'm, I'm not sticking up like this. As I sit in it, my feet are gently touching the ground, and I could just easily, without much effort, I could give myself a little rock. Um, some people talk about cup holders, drink holders. I don't think they belong in rocking chairs because they rock. Because the chair's not sitting level, um, it, it's leaning back. I, I wouldn't want to do that to a drink. It, I, I don't think it's appropriate to have a cup holder, a drink holder, in a rocking chair. But you could. You could squeeze one in there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. But anyways, this is a wonderful piece of furniture. It's that rolling off my pants. It, it doesn't wiggle at all. It's got no play. It's solid as a rock. It, it's going to continue to be that way. And thanks for sticking around. Please subscribe. And, and don't be shy about uh, ordering something from my Amazon affiliate links. Uh, they help me out just a touch, and, and they don't cost you any more. Uh, and the only affiliate links that I show are affiliate links uh, there are four tools that I use. I, I've made a lot of furniture, and this is easily my favorite piece. I because mainly because I designed it from top to bottom. I, I've built some furniture where I bought plans from people or companies, and I've really enjoyed that furniture. But I've even made plans for this. So, and you could buy these plans if you want. Downloadable plans. Uh, they come in PDF format. You can buy it with your credit card at island-crown.com. Anyway, it's a lovely chair. Thanks for staying with me. See you on the next one.